Hey guys! So today I know I look a little different than usual and that is because today I'm going to be filming a hair tutorial on how to get a pompadour out of your pixie. So I am rocking a pompadour today and I actually really love this look. So this look is so easy to create especially if you are starting off with a pixie base. It just really is another fun way to wear your pixie haircut. Really cool way to get your hair off of your face and kind of make your hair in my opinion look a little more done up. Like if I had a wedding or just a cool night time event to go to, I would definitely rock the pompadour. I think it's really cool, a little bit edgy, but sophisticated. So I really like the pompadour. I think it's really fun, and I've just really been wanting to start rocking it more, so I figured why not put a tutorial out there for all of you guys who are interested in seeing how to do it. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I get this pompadour hairstyle, then you can go ahead and stay right, tuned. So today I'm starting out with two-day-old hair. Today it is Sunday, and the last time I washed my hair was on Friday afternoon, so I'm just starting out with kind of dirty hair which does help for this type of tutorial but also if you wanted to start with wet clean hair I would just say to blow dry it the way you normally blow dry it but add a product into your hair that definitely gives it a little more texture and grip because that's the main thing you want to focus on when you're going into making a pompadour you definitely want your hair to have some grip and play to it a little bit dirtier is better though because it already has some of that natural grit to it but you can also add that in through products if you're starting out with clean hair for blow drying so I just wanted to throw that in before I started filming the tutorial so now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the pompadour tutorial so after your hair is ready to take on the pompadour the first thing you want to do is get products in your hair that's gonna give it some more texture so I'm gonna use this bumble and bumble brilliantine styling cream and it's a styling cream that gives your hair a lot of grit and texture so I'm gonna work this all through the top of my hair and then to give my hair even more texture and hold and play I'm also gonna use some dry shampoo because that's a great texturizing product and gives your hair more of that roughed up feel Now that my hair already has a good amount of hold in it from product, it is time to tease the night away. So taking a normal rat tail comb, I'm going to go ahead and tease the whole top part of my hair that is going to be in the pompadour. And if you're not familiar how to tease, you just want to take small sections of hair and back comb the back of it down to your root until it kind of stands up on its own to give it a really nice tease texture. So I'm just going to take small sections of hair, teasing all of them, and when you're teasing you want to tease down to the root because that's going to give your hair even more hold. So just go ahead and tease away. This is really going to help form and shape your look and because you already have product in it that's going to give your hair texture, the tease should work effortlessly. So once your hair is nice and teased, now the playing begins. So a pompadour is a very visual hairstyle, so you want to just keep teasing pieces and playing around with the hair to get it into the shape you want. Your pompadour can take on more of a straightforward look, it can go to the side, it can work however you'd like. So now you just want to kind of play with it and mold it into the shape that you want. Once you're happy with the shape your pompadour has taken on, you want to hairspray the heck out of your hair. So I'm going to take my favorite hairspray and be very, very abundant with the hairspraying. I'm going to spray the night away, I'm going to spray my hair a ton, and then again, I'm just going to keep playing with it. I'm going to finger through the pompadour because I like more of that textured look, and then I'm really just going to keep hairspraying and playing with it, and if you are planning on wearing your pompadour out, I would definitely recommend bringing a rat tail comb and a little hairspray with you just to finish it off throughout the night and make sure nothing falls. Then once everything's in the spot you want it to be in, go in with one final spray because you want that baby to last. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. I absolutely love the pompadour look and I love the versatility to this hairstyle. It is sexy, sophisticated, and edgy all in one and you can take this from every day to wear it out for a really nice night too. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are loving rocking a pompadour. And until my next video, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye guys.